how come it's so easy for accused criminals in Canada to get bail? How come it's so easy for them to get short sentences in jail if they get any sentences at all? How come it's so easy for them to get parole? It's because it's the law. And there's an increasing number of judicial rulings from the Supreme Court that back that up. It is now the belief in Canada, we've been angling this way since the 1970s, it's now the belief in the Canadian judicial system that no one should go to jail unless there are no other alternatives. There's nothing about punishment anymore. It's all about rehabilitation. And it comes mostly from a 1998 Supreme Court ruling called the Gladue ruling. A lot of people believe the Gladue ruling was solely about special treatment for Indigenous offenders who would you could look back at their Indigenous heritage and say, well, they shouldn't be treated very harshly. They should be sent to, to, to healing circles. They should be sent to sweat lodges instead of going to jail because of the mistreatment over the, the history of Canada of Indigenous people. But it goes well beyond that. In, in the Gladue decision, the Supreme Court said it should no longer automatically be considered the paramount objective of the judicial system to protect the public. The number one objective of the judicial system should be to reintegrate the offender into society. And if that means no jail, if you can line up a bunch of experts and prison psychologists to say, oh no, this person would be much better off out in the public, then that's what the Supreme Court says judges must do. That's what wardens must do. That's what the police must do. It's now difficult to be arrested without bail in Canada. You hear about people who've spent a long time in jail, on bail, awaiting trial, but they are the rare exception. It's now very difficult to find anyone who has served their entire sentence. They might be sentenced to five years, but they have to be let out after a third of that and certainly after two-thirds of that, unless they've shown some violent behavior in jail. These are coming out of legislation and Supreme Court rulings. This all being driven by the idea that offenders are not, and this is a pretty direct quote, offenders are not at odds with society. They are part of society, and our number one goal should be to reintegrate them into society. You remember Miles Sanderson, who was uh, the, the, the man in Saskatchewan in the summer of 2022 who knifed 11 people to death, including his own brother. He was out on parole for a series of violent offenses. But the theory behind releasing him was, well, he'd be much better off in the community. He will reintegrate much faster into the community if he's in the community than if he's in jail. He was so violent, he should never have been out of jail. But that's the kind of thinking that drives bail, sentencing, and parole in Canada. And it won't change until there's a significant change in legislation and the judiciary. For Post Media, I'm Lorne Gunter.